Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in on today's video. Uh, today we're going to be effectively widening the body on our project 12 inches by welding in all new bracing. We got a lot to do, so let's just jump right in. Alright, so I know you guys are excited as I am to finally see this thing moving on. Uh, let's go ahead and go over a little bit of what we're going to be doing before we start cutting and welding. Alright, so starting at the back of the van, we're going to weld in bracing at the top inside of this channel. I can fit three pieces of three quarter inch tubing across uh, and that's actually going to end up being stronger than this original bracing anyways. We're going to do that here. Then we'll do it again here in the middle and again here at the front. Alright so we're going to go ahead and cut the bracing for the roof now and get it welded in. So let's go over a little bit of what we've done uh, before we move on. Okay, so as you can see, all of the bracing is in place. Uh, we have a small piece of tubing for the lower bumper. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to cut the bumper off of the body and have a bumper on the actual truck frame. No point in really having this here. Tubing here to fill this gap is nearly a perfect fit. Let's see if I can get some zoom in on there. There we go. All right, so we got a perfect fit here, inch and a half tubing. Spans the 12 inch gap. More tubing here. And this is all gonna be skinned with metal from the other van, so it's all going to be just as structural plus some uh, than it was originally. Okay, so up top, those plates that we built a little while ago, they are in place. There's three of them, as you see, across the back here. The plan is I'm going to weld these upper braces first. That way I can get the 12-inch gap set up here. I'm going to only tack weld them, not fully weld them in. So I'll get the 12-inch gap set up here, and then I'll start working my way down and get the gap set down here and tack weld, and then the gap set down here and tack weld. Once that's all done, I'm going to weld in cross bracing 
from frame rail to frame rail, essentially turning this into a ladder style frame. Alright, so I've got all of the bracing in the top and the nose of the van welded in. It's tack welded so it is still really flexible. We'll be able to make adjustments as we need to, but the main basis of it is welded in. So let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, so here we are at the nose of the van. We have this square tubing here. This is inch and a half square tubing that was welded in at the bumper support and on this front crash bar here. All right, moving on to the top up here, we have the braces that we made here for the center, one, two, three. So these are all tack welded in as well. Now what we're going to do, we're gonna go below, get the gap perfect for the bottom and weld in some heavy frame bracing. So next we're gonna come in with some C-channel and weld bracing in here from frame rail to frame rail. And that should keep the body fairly rigid as we move it around finish skinning it and get it on the truck frame. So the plan is tomorrow we're going to get the brown van rolled over here and get it prepped and ready to cut our filler panels out. Hopefully we can at least get that thing stripped down and ready, if not at least some parts cut off of it. I'm really excited to be starting on this again. I know you guys are excited too. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.